So starting off with the North Texas Mean Green, they are a number 13 seed. They're going to face number 4 seed Purdue. They are the Conference USA champs after beating the favored Western Kentucky Hilltoppers on Saturday, 61-57 in overtime. It was one of the most fun games I've seen in college basketball all this season. I talked about this on yesterday's pod. Going into it, I actually had money on Western Kentucky to win. Um, but halfway through the game, I just started rooting for North Texas. These guys are infectious. It's a really fun group, and uh, I think they have a legitimate shot to beat Purdue, but they went 17-9 and this year. It's their first ever Conference USA Championship. They are just the fifth program in Conference USA Tournament history, and first since 2010 to win four games in a row. You know, they went in as a third seed in the West Division, so in Conference USA, they split it up, so essentially it's a sixth seed that uh, they ended up winning and beating the number one overall seed. So the win's a little sweeter for North Texas because last year they won the Conference USA regular season championship but never got a chance to play in March Madness with the cancellation. Um, but uh, obviously going to get that chance this year. And I you know, can't say enough about how much I like them and how good I think they are. And they do have a legit shot against Purdue. So... So North Texas currently ranks 10th in the nation in scoring defense. They only allow their opponents 61.2 points per game. That's stingy. And throughout the Conference USA tournament, they only allowed 54 points a game. And they also own the country's 28th best three-point field goal percentage, 37.6%. So they play good D and they can shoot. So this is a dangerous team coming in. So they are led by senior guard Javion Hamlet, who is the Conference USA tournament MVP. And after he averaged 18.5 points per game, 6.5 rebounds, and he set a new league tournament record with 29 assists, so 7.3 a game. And if you watch the final, you know, Hamlet was just lights out. It's a young man from Memphis, Tennessee. He averaged 15 points per game all season, and last year was named the Conference USA Male Athlete of the Year. It's the first North Texas student athlete to ever win the award. He was also the Conference USA Basketball Player of the Year. And, of course, first-team all-conference. Uh, Charles Bassey from Western Kentucky won this year's Player of the Year, but last year, J.B. on Hamlet is the guy. So here he is talking about just what it means to win the tournament and for North Texas to go to March Madness. Some comments following the win over Western Kentucky on Saturday. It's a blessing, you know, uh, after what happened last year. We knew we was going to be in the same position this year as we did this year. You know, and uh, we came back for a reason. We knew we were going to... Uh, come back and win it. You know, uh, we didn't win regular season, you know, so we had a hard schedule, four games in four days, and we knew the toughest team win. And this is what we came here to do. So North Texas with a very balanced attack. Hamlet is just one of four Mean Green players averaging at least 10.3 points per game this year. One of those others is senior guard James Reese. Here he is talking about how tough it was to grind out the win over Western Kentucky on Saturday and get to March Madness. Toughest teams wins. Uh, as you know, we ain't win a we ain't win a regular season. Uh, you know, we didn't we didn't hang our heads with that. Uh, we won. We we came, took the tough route, won four games, four days, and uh, tough team won. So Reese is from East Over, South Carolina. Averaged 10.8 points per game this year and 4.5 rebounds. He started every single game for North Texas over the past two seasons. And he started out his career with Buffalo under Nate Oates, and he was a part of that uh, tournament team that upset uh, Arizona in the first round with DeAndre Ayton and that. So this is a guy that's got some experience. I think that's going to help the Mean Green. You know, as they head towards March Madness, they've got guys that have been there. So North Texas head coach Grant McCasland, he's in his fourth season at North Texas. Prior to that, he was the head coach at Arkansas State for 2016 and 17. And before that, an assistant at Baylor from 2011 to 2016, and as well as being an assistant at some of the smaller schools, some JUCOs there. So here's McCaslin talking about what a year it's been for North Texas. It just felt like this is the way it was going to have to be. <laughs> I mean, when you play four games in four days and you play one of the best teams in the country, and, you know, the, that Western Kentucky team, we have a tremendous amount of respect for their for their competitiveness, for their program, for their history. And Coach Stansberry does an unbelievable job. 
and we just knew that they were going to come back. I mean, you hope that they don't, but you just know, like, this is what it's going to be. They're going to make a charge. They got, they got such talent offensively, and we told them we may get down 13. Like, you just can't ever think that you're out because of the way the pace the game plays, they don't get away from you like that. They kind of let you stay in it, and we got down late, got in those timeouts, and just told them, hey, we're right where we want to be. I mean, even when you're down seven with a couple minutes ago, you're just like, we're right where we want to be. It's a couple possession game. Let's just figure out a way to put one in the hole. And I was telling Thomas, but you're going to make one, dude. You're just going to make one. And sure enough, he made one of the biggest shots to, to after going over for whatever he went from three, man. Just a different level of belief on that sideline and so fun to be a part of it. It's funny, he just sounds emotionally exhausted watching and listening to that. And he also talks about just how important JV on Hamlet has been for his team this year. Some great comments from Coach McCaslin here. Just, just full of heart, man. Dude's just got a different level of belief than, I don't know, probably anybody I've ever coached. I've coached some phenomenal ones, but I don't know if I've ever seen anybody that has willed his teammates the way he does and the way they believe back in him. I mean, every time you get the ball in his hands at the end of the game, he delivers. I mean, like, it's just it's remarkable. The pass he made to Drez and then the two floaters he makes to win the game, you know, and he goes to the free throw line and gets fouled and makes two free throws. His belief is special. So North Texas and Purdue have only ever met once before in school history. That came at Purdue December 10th, 1970. So been a few years in between their last meeting. And so, hey, watch out for the Mean Green. They got something going on. And uh, don't be surprised if you see them come out with a W over Purdue in round one.